Outrocast. Elizabeth, Jamie, thank you both for taking the time. How's the day going aside from answering the same questions over and over again? <laughs> Well, thank you for having us. It's great. It's this is you know it's release day. It's surreal. It's terrifying that people are finally getting to see the movie. Yeah, we're excited, but you know it's it's interesting as people have been able to watch it on Amazon, Apple, or even if they've got to one of the limited release theaters. Yeah. The feedback we're getting is <sighs> exciting so and nerve wracking. So, so far, people love it, but you know when you put art that you've made out into the world, it's an exhilarating, demented experience. But I'm loving it so right. far. You're getting the mainstream media push, but also the critical acclaim indie stuff. So congratulations. And my first question, I don't know who's going to answer this one, is how'd you wind up filming in St. Kitts? That's a beautiful Caribbean island. I can answer that one. It was, um, so I, a producer that my mother had worked with before who directed a movie starring her and Jeff, Jared Depardieu, which is a beautiful movie. Um, he um, called me and said, you know, I'm setting up this production company in the Caribbean, in St. Kitts and Nevis, and I want to start this thing where I'll take a young filmmaker and give them the opportunity to use my crew, give them the scheme to use my crew for three days and make a short film. And, you know, would you be our test, our guinea pig, to see if this is a feasible thing to do to make a short, tiny film with all the crew? And I said, that sounds like the best thing in the world. He'd seen that I'd been making little short films since I was eight and was so passionate about it. And he's and so I said, I'd loved nothing more. So I was on the first flight out, made the short, and it was all amazing. And I was really, really happy. Then I got a call out of the blue, when I'd just turned 20, from an executive at Lionsgate who'd seen the short film and said, mm -hmm. you know, we're really impressed. We love this short. Um, do you have any more scripts? You know, we would love to talk about uh, making a feature with you if you have a script that we like. And so I went, yeah, of course I do. And then ran around desperately trying to find every idea that I'd ever written. And I found this old script that I'd written when I was 17, right after I lost a close friend to suicide. And I'd written the script, I didn't know what to do with it at the time. It just ended up in a dusty drawer. But I found it, you know, at, when I offered what was called, cool, updated it, and um, Strictly Confidential was born. Wow. Now, Elizabeth, we've seen you do comedy over the years, drama, a mix of genres and styles. What was it that drew you to this script besides, you know, the family connection? I really liked playing Lily because I felt that she was interesting because she was a woman who really let herself down. She betrayed her family. And mm -hmm. by doing that, set into motion everything that happens. And... I really like the fact that Damien had written into the script that she self-justifies throughout most of the script. I didn't mean for this to happen. I don't want to hurt anybody, which we all do every day. Yeah. Um, but maybe by the end of it, she says, maybe I deserve to be punished for this. And she really, it really sinks into her that bad behavior has a knock-on effect and you really hurt the people you love. And I really liked that. And I, I really wanted to play this part, treading as carefully as I could down that line of she is irresponsible she is being following her heart and she's really hurting her loved ones so i like playing it for that so it's drama but it was sexual drama and it was very human and it wasn't too heavy and i, I like that well one question a piece to each of you and then i'll let you go because the whole world wants to speak with both of you today uh damien the film before this that you had produced had beach in the title this film has the beach in it. Is your next production going to have the beach in it as well? You know, I actually think my next production is probably going to be an underground bunker in a city. I need to get away from the sea for a while. I love the sea. I've got to say, it's not, not the It's not. It's set on the coast, your next film, but not on the beach. <laughs> but I have to say, you know, not that we had even a second um, during this film to land on the beach, I wish. I didn't get to see one. You only got it on camera. It was, no, I promise this isn't our excuse for a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And Elizabeth, you're known to be at some concerts to be a big music fan. What's the last concert that you went to for fun? Elton. We both went to see Elton John's last ever gig of his world tour in Stockholm in Sweden last summer. We went together, Damien actually, uh, Elton's his godfather. And it was a magnificent, no, no playback live band it was amazing it was the best concert i've ever been to yeah wow i didn't know that i just learned so much in that one sentence right there but <laughs> the bottom line is congrats again on this film looking forward to whatever is next from both of you and keep up the great work thank, thank you so much us. very much thanks, thanks.